What's up guys, StuDog here, and welcome back to another episode of the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh! ripoffs online. Yes, today marks the two-year anniversary of when I first started this segment. Oh, what a great two years it's been, an all-original segment I came up with on my channel that I enjoy doing every month, and here it is, the listing that started all of it. It is still here on eBay, two years later. This listing is still here, the seven-colored fish card misprint, which first sparked this segment on my channel. And I can't believe someone actually bought one of these. They're not even a misprint. It's $803 for just one, like, not even mint condition, seven colored fish. And uh, I can't believe that this seller right here, whatever his name is, and Jetta 9 he still is keeping this online for over two years now. That's just freaking crazy talk. Literally, literally crazy talk, but... Well, here it is, guys. I'm going to keep doing this every year, apparently, as long as it stays online or until someone finally buys the last copy of this, as there's only one remaining here. But it's hard to believe the Seven Colored Fish misprint is still on eBay. Still for sale. Don't worry, guys. No one bought it. Anyway, going on to some of the new stuff here. we got a Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. Doesn't even capitalize any of the words in his title there. You know, improper English for the win. It's going for... $2,500 here, and you get some amazing stuff. Look at this insane Yu-Gi-Oh! backpack. You're going to be the coolest kid in school with this backpack right here. It's your move, man. <laughs> uh, so it's just a whole bunch of old stuff. $2,500. Uh, you got some secret rare cyber dragons, nice and all, but a lot of other stuff here in the binder. You get an MLG Dark Magician tiny binder. 4x4 four four binder, of course. There's another picture of the backpack. Look at that. Look at how dusty and dirty it is. Like, oh my god. Hopefully you guys um, have a washing machine. You might want to wash that a couple times in the washing machine because that looks just very dusty and dirty. But, but actually, no, this is a different backpack, right? He has two different backpacks? Oh my... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. I thought the other one look, was different. Or is it? No, I think this is just... Uh, it looks different because it's, you know... Uh, more towards the light and get a better picture of the monster. He's got Exodia, Summon Skull, the Big Shield Gardener, and there's Yugi. And, wait, are you covering Yugi's face with a sticker? Okay, so apparently there's two random stickers on here. Oh my god, you guys see that there's, right there? There's two random stickers covering Yugi's face. So you're telling me that I'm going to have to peel off those dirty stickers that have probably been on there for 10 years, and I'm going to have to wash this twice in my washing machine? How about no thank you, but <laughs> I'm just saying... And some better pictures of the tins there. Oh, yeah. And there's some of the cars. Look at how terrible condition they are. You got a couple of Dark Magicians and some stuff. I mean, you got... Ooh, I believe that's actually a OCG Japanese Dark Magician right there. I guess that's pretty cool. Don't mind if I do. I uh, get a couple of deck boxes. You get common... I believe these common pieces of Exodia. They're in bad condition. The head is at least in mint condition, it looks like. And then, I believe that's the left leg that actually is a ultra rare from LOB. Not first edition, though, so who cares? And that's Life of the Sky Dragon. All I gotta say is, look at that edge wear and that's Life of the Sky Dragon. Like, dear lord, man. Terrible stuff, but either way, I don't know who in their right mind would really pay $2,500 for this. But, I mean, at least you get to be the coolest guy in your school with this MLG backpack. But it's gonna be kind of hard to peel off those two stickers, though. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying. Alright, going on to a 40 card Exodia deck, tournament ready. Hot. Look at how hot this is. This is what, $45 here? And what do you get? This is some insane tournament ready Exodia deck. I won't let me enlarge it, but you get a couple of marshmallows. You never know when that's going to come in handy. Uh, Monster Reincarnation, you never know when that's going to come in handy, just in case your Exodia piece gets sniped out. Or if they get banished, then I guess. You're, you're screwed, but who cares? And he also throws in random Exodia Necros in there, because, I mean, that's totally the key strategy of an Exodia deck to actually play playing Exodia Necros. Get a couple Swift Scarecrows, one Battle Fader, a common Tragodia, because, I mean, why not? <laughs> Can't even give us a Gores. Why is Big Show Gardener in this deck? I have no idea. <laughs> Get the Contact with Exodia, and then some other random stuff. Like, yeah, this is totally the most insane tournament ready hot deck i've seen in my entire life right here you even get one hot believe this card right here is the only hollow you get in the entire deck you do get this amazing beautiful deck box right here that is some insane stuff but i mean i didn't i don't even know who would pay 45 dollars for this tournament ready garbage deck that won't win you anything in a tournament but 
because you know people like clickbait and stuff you got to put tournament ready in the title of course going on to a new listing it's actually a pretty cool i don't even know if this is a ripoff but tell me in the comment section below if you actually think this is a ripoff or not but this is actually kind of interesting going for one thousand five hundred dollars here and let's see this is actually some trickster misprints you got the light stage the link monster along with the candina that are all secret rares these are not secret rares from the actual code of the duelist set so some insane misprints here and apparently the lily bell actually doesn't have a name so i don't even know these are like i don't believe they're fake cards i believe they are like legitimate misprints but the thing is are these really worth a thousand five hundred dollars though like <laughs> I don't know if I see it. Like, who would actually, in the right mind, waste that much money on these misprints? I mean, maybe a hundred, maybe a couple hundred, but I mean, I don't really know. But this is some interesting stuff. Not every day we get to see a complete rarity misprint right here. As I believe uh, Candina and the Light Stage. And I don't know about the Holly Angel. I believe they're all just regular ultra rares, but as you can see, they're misprinted as secret here, which they're which is not supposed to be the thing. And here's the Lily Bell right here that does not have a name. So, yep, poor Lily Bell. Don't got a name. Feels bad, man. <laughs> no name right there. Good old SpongeBob reference. The jellyfish, you remember? No name. <laughs> All right, so going on some other stuff. Here is a Rizato Soldier. And I believe this title is Overreacting. He says it's an error card ultra rare. Uh, I don't think so. He's going for a thousand five dollars here, and this is not an error card, and this is not ultra rare. This is a terrible condition fake card. This is a fake card that is in terrible condition. That is not an ultra rare, and it's not an error card. So yeah, I don't know why you would think someone would actually pay a thousand dollars for this, but hey, if it's popsicle, it's possible, I guess. And going on the last one of this episode. We got a $21,000 pot of greed. Are you freaking kidding me? This is not even a, a hollow pot of greed. This isn't even the ultimate rare version from the Duelist Pack Kaiba. This is just Battle Pack Black Rare. $21,000. <laughs> what? <sighs> oh my god. Some people, man. Some people. It's like, do you, do you even have a brain? What what are you smoking when you legitimately put this on eBay? Like, how do you even come up with this number in the first place? It's literally like you put your pet, pet hamster on the keyboard. Just let your pet hamster decide the price. And you just ran over all the numbers on your keyboard and just came up with this random number right here. It's like, how do you even come up with that? God, man. So this is coming from Salem, Oregon, United States. Ships worldwide. Don't worry, guys. So wherever you live, you can... Feel free to buy a $21,000 pot of greed. As long as you're on planet Earth. Now, if you're living on another planet, if you're part of the Mars mission and the space race, and live in outer space, I don't believe you can actually buy this, because I don't think you can ship to outer space. But as long as you live planet Earth worldwide, you can buy this $21,000 pot of greed. Insane stuff. So anyway, this concludes this episode of the Biggest Yu-Gi-Oh! Revolves Online for January 2018. Insane stuff right here. I can't believe the Seven Colored Fish misprint is still online two years later. But we're just going to see how much longer this is going to stay until someone finally buys the last one. I'm going to keep on checking every day, man. So thanks for watching as always. And until next time, this has been Stew Dog, And I'm signing out. <laughs>